those goods producing jobs in manufacturing, in construction, mining and resources that we have lost um, typically were good paying jobs and so as those have been replaced by lower wage service jobs you know in the restaurant and hospitality industry um, in temporary agencies that sort of thing um, wages overall have stagnated or even declined for people on the lower end of the of the wage distribution so um, again um, an, another area where the gap is closing between men and women is, uh, is the wage gap. I think in um, two decades ago it was about uh, 74 cents on the dollar, uh, you know, a decade ago maybe uh, 84, and then I think in, in most recently in 2016 women were making 88 cents on the dollar that men made, so that gap is closing. And that is because women are earning more, but it's also because men are earning less, including because of the shift I described. Welcome back to In Focus Kentucky. Each week we look at one different issue impacting Kentuckians, and today we're focusing on the gender pay gap in Kentucky. One of the ways to help women increase their earning potential is to make sure they're fully prepared to enter the workforce. Dress for Success Lexington is an organization devoted to offering a wide range of help for women, and we stopped by to see how their organization has meant success for hundreds of local women. Women come to us from all walks of life, really, and they do have different backgrounds and histories. Um, some of them do find themselves in, in very um, unfortunate situations. And so to be able to work with a woman like that and watch her go through the process of finding herself and her goals and being able to achieve things that she's wanted to um, go after for years, but for whatever reason hasn't been able to, is so inspiring and empowering. Jennifer Monarch along with Annalisa Wagner are co-founders of Dress for Success Lexington, which opened its doors back in 2013. It's really been amazing. You know, we've served over 650 women since we opened our doors. We'd like to be able to suit at least 200 women a year, you know, and this space really lends itself to being able to do that. You know, we've got a unique career center. We have our boutique. We have a career center office. Uh, and then we have a large donation center that also doubles as our sales space. Interestingly enough, when I first met my co-founder, Annalisa Wagner, she and I were both independently working on starting a Dress for Success um, location. We um, ended up meeting through a mutual friend because I told the friend in passing that I was working on bringing this organization to Lexington and she said she had a friend who was trying to do the same thing. So she put us in touch with each other. I called Annalisa and the very next day we met for the first time in person and realized that we were both writing at the exact same time business plans to open an affiliate of this nonprofit in Lexington. Uh, from then on, uh, then we spent the next nine months uh, working on the business plan and putting together all the details and laying a really solid uh, groundwork and foundation so that we knew by the time we opened our doors we'd be, we'd be ready um, for the experience together. We jokingly say that we uh, essentially had a baby together because that nine months was spent in, um, we spent hours and hours um, on end. Um, sometimes, and at the time both of us were working full-time jobs, so we would get together in the evenings or on the weekends um, and really just try to uh, you know, lay the groundwork for for what is now this organization, and it's incredible. We we started off in the basement of a building um, on Richmond Road, and the space had to be no bigger than 350 square feet. And as soon as we were actually ready to launch the organization, we were just overwhelmed with support from the community, um, from women who, and, and men, but uh, mainly women who donated a lot of their professional attire and accessories to help us um, get started initially. And that space quickly filled up and we, we literally were like bursting out of it. So we um, opened our first official office on Winchester Road in the Eastland Shopping Center. And then fast forward a few years later and the organization continued to grow and now we're in our new location. Ladies that we've served have ranged in age from 16 to 72. Some of them don't have their GED, some of them have their PhD, so it really runs the gamut. And some of the ladies that come to us, um, maybe it's a survival job for them. You know, they just need to have some income because of the situation that they're coming from. So we help them with that. You know, we have ladies that uh, have gone on to get jobs at the University of Kentucky. We've had them working with the Community Action Council. But it really is, for a lot of them, I, building self-confidence in themselves to be able to go out and get those jobs uh, because there is you know they are at a disadvantage you know it's not it 
we're hoping that it will become a more level playing field for the ladies as they get their jobs, but we want to really be able to see them from start to finish with those jobs. And one of the ways that we're going to be able to do that that we're very excited about, we have received some funding from the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government, and we'll be starting a brand new program at Dress for Success Lexington called Women to Women. So it is a unique mentoring program where we will suit our we will match, pair our women up with women in the community, professional women in the community that can then help them along their journey. Women come to Dress for Success Lexington by referral only from community-based social service agencies and nonprofit organizations. Once a client has been referred, an individual appointment is set up and she is introduced to the career center and suiting programs, then is paired with a stylist consultant who works one-on-one -on -one with her to select a business suit for her interview. This is our boutique. So in our boutique, when the ladies come to us, um, they come by referral. And one of the first things that we usually do with those ladies is, in fact, to do their suiting. And in the suiting, we know before they come in, by virtue of the client referral form that we receive, what their sizes are. So it's not necessarily a shopping experience per se. We really select, keep the women in mind, and select outfits for them for their particular interviews. So the outfit would consist of a suit, regardless of where they're going for their job interview. They would get the shoes, the accessories, the purse. Uh, we have partnered with Vanity Fair, so they get brand new bras, which gives them a great new foundation, which the women are just thrilled about, and we suit them up. So we have a dressing room that doesn't have a mirror, so the ladies end up getting dressed in the, in the dressing room. We always say we want them, our end goal is to have them looking good and feeling good when they leave as far as the clothing is concerned. So they have the opportunity to say, you know what, I don't like that color, uh, the size doesn't seem quite right, and then they'll come out into the boutique to see themselves in the mirror. The organization's mission is to empower women, and we do that by helping them to achieve financial independence. So for us, um, everything we do is designed to get the women to that end goal. It starts with the suiting, and then watching them grow from that point on, to helping them with their interview skills, to putting them into a network of support of other women who are able to um, to help them through their process. We watch that and the entire process um, is so inspiring. And it's, it's, I think that is, at the end of the day, the reason that so many people um, are, are supportive of the organization and the community. So it's actually a really amazing process to suit a woman. And it is much more than suiting. You hear dress for success and, and that's what you automatically think of. But it is so much more than that. It is everything from the beginning, you know, and then we stay with the women through their employment. So a woman is referred to us from an agency and we know what size they wear and you know sort of their needs. Um, and we do actually suit them. Um, we give them some outfits to do their interviews with and then we also help them with their resume, we help them with their interview skills, we help them with just social etiquette to help them get a job and then keep a job. And then once they get a job, we suit them in clothing appropriate to that job. So, you know, they feel good about themselves, They're, they are well prepared to be um, an employable woman in the workforce. So from the beginning when they walk in our doors and then, you know, a few years later when they've started their career, you know, some women at the University of Kentucky or, you know, to see them later and their financial independence and just, they are just in such a better place in life. It is amazing. The executive director of Dress for Success Lexington has seen both sides of the need for preparing women for the workforce. You know, I was at a point where not only was I the founder, but I was also, in effect, a client. Hear how she helps shape the process for women who need their services after the break. <laughs> 